made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds of lightweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. He's on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. Diego Chico Corrales is making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Teddy, an obvious, obvious height discrepancy here. Got a real tall guy against a short guy right off the bat advantage tall guy but not necessarily right not necessarily look on the outside if he's able to control those quarters yeah he has an advantage but once the shorter man closes the gap a little bit and he gets in close guess what there's a lot of target in front of him Corrales has got a way of just getting away from that punch good block Gages in the clinch. And now looking to hang on. Corrales' punch is far off the target. Way through round number one. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Diego Corrales is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Morales is able to avoid that punch. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Body shot lands. It was the right. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. to that one that was a solid uppercut last 10 seconds of this first round 
He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left right, before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Here we go, round two is underway. What a great job, he gave one right back in return. Nice work by Diego Corrales. Gets rid of that body shot. Back to the body. Sound defense, good block that time by Diego Chico Corrales. Right to the head and right to the canvas. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. You know, we only show up when it's time to watch them do their thing for the fight, but they're really working at it day in and day out just to make weight. What's so tough about making weight in boxing? Well, it can weigh you down. I mean, it takes discipline. And all of a sudden, it allows you a trail of excuses because now you can start to say, well, gee, you know, I didn't do this. You know, I, I, it's the drudgery of it, and it's the consistency of it. When you have to stay at a weight and you have to watch that weight, you have to balance it where you're also going to be able to have a physicality when you get in the ring. You don't want to be weak, so you want to get that right balance where you're disciplined, you get the weight down, but you don't lose that physical edge. Morales is proving to be elusive. is able to land a good, solid left hand. Get in there! Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Good block by Corrales. Corrales is gathering himself now after scoring a knockdown in that last round. If you were his trainer, what would you be pumping into his head? Well, I would say, you know what? He hasn't recovered. He hasn't had enough time to completely recover. Listen, be responsible defensively. Don't get reckless, but stay on him. Do not let him recover. All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in. You're good. You all right? You're okay, you right? Okay. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that'll be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. Good defense, just covering up left down low. Right, left and right, come on. 
He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Focus! Keep pushing! Able to show you his blocking ability. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Chico Corrales. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Corrales is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Blocks that belt line well. Good step back counter punch there. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Diego Chico Corrales. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Diego Corrales' defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. And round three comes to an end. Where's your hook at? Come on now. You're stronger than him. You need to hook to the body. Take some of his speed away. Let's go. One more shot to the body. Listen, I'm not going to stand. Nice work. Nice work. Muy bien. There you go. Don't get too close to him. Don't get too close. I need you to move more. Keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. We talk about it often, but jumping out and taking a lead on the scorecards can be so critical. He's done so in these first three rounds thanks to that knockdown. Yeah, he has, but it can also hurt you because now if he starts laying back and just waiting for that next big punch, guess what? His opponent gets right back into the fight. Corrales with a block punch. Corrales is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Not much action as he just ties up. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Pace yourself. Relax. Relax. Diego Corrales is coming up with the answer, avoiding that punch. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Halfway through this round here, Corrales is starting to bleed from the nose. His corner should be wary of that. That is a sharp uppercut by Diego Corrales.
This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. His hands up. Well, you can just tell that he's unable to keep up this kind of a pace early on. You can see that these punches aren't what they were. So that's part of the equation. You go out there and you can chuck leather at your opponent, but your opponent, he can handle it if he wants to. He can deflect it, and then he starts coming back with his own. And then what happens? You get tired? You start giving up? Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Body shot, body shot. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on Keep there. moving. Keep moving. Back to the body. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Ten seconds to go in this round. Diego Corrales is good, clean, and effective punching damaged his opponent in that last round. Just like that, all right? You're doing good. Are you going to let your hands go? You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you got to let it go. You don't need that. Don't Wait, that bang Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. All right, just keep moving. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Nice work, the left hand to the head. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Ace yourself. Unload. Unload. More punches. Oh. What a turn of events! What a turnaround! He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just gonna walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. Corrales is showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Halfway into round number five here. Let's see some more head movement. Oh, and now we see some head hunting by Diego Corrales. And now you see a complete change as to what he's targeting here. He's clearly going after his opponent's body. Well, he's got his speed set in front of him, and he's putting a little tax in the road. You know, throwing some nails down on that road. Go downstairs. Very nice left hand from Diego. And just like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing's about. This is what battle is about. This is what human spirit is all about. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. A big left hand from Chico Corrales. That's it. 
Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And round five comes to an end. Corrales' corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Let's go. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. We can recoup from that knockdown. Let's do it. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. That was a miss by Chico Corrales. Focus. You got these ones. Keep moving. You gotta see those coming. Didn't get it done going to the body there. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top, you know, we look at the punches going array. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. Halfway through round six. And he's holding. <laughs> Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's another thing to never even move. You got to show some move. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls down, everybody in the world is going to know that he let himself fall down. He gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. This is why it's too damn for you to be lazy with your punches, okay? You're not winning. You're not losing, kid. But you're not winning. And we have to throw more than this guy. We can pull it ahead. We gotta fight. We gotta keep going. You got it? You gotta do it. Come on. Listen. Well, the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? How about that left hand? And now you see him scoring well with the right.
A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Halfway through the seventh round, and he just holds on there. And he clinches yet again. Keep going! Not able to connect with the uppercut. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Diego Corrales. <laughs> Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Work now hugging on the inside. Very nice defensive guard there. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Good looking right hand after he got hit. And round seven comes to an end. Sky York, start moving your hands. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right? Here you go. All right. Deep breath. Get some water. You're good. You're okay. Breathe for me. Now listen. You threw a white punch, and he caught you. Seven rounds in the book so far. We look at Teddy's scorecard. Diego Corrales is in good shape. He is leading on Teddy's scorecard, but a lot of action still to come. This is where things can change halfway through a fight. Yeah, this could be a danger zone. You know, the danger zones, a lot of people, whatever they do, they see them, you know, late in a fight or maybe very early in a fight. In the middle part, they think they're past that. You're not past that. You stop doing what you're doing, and this can turn on you very fast. Pace yourself. <laughs> Not able to land the headshot. Corrales is showing us a little something behind the curtain right here. He's revealing something about himself, and that is that he wants to survive a bit. He is clinching more than we've seen before after being stunned. And Joe, if we're seeing it, guess what? That guy in the other corner, that guy that's facing him right now, he's seen it too, and that's bad news for him. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Now he ties up there. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Unload! Left and right, left and right. Corrales is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Keep moving. 
Keep moving. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Corrales is doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. I want the combinations. You land in one shot, but I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking close right. for you to be lazy with our punches. You understand? We don't right. need that. No, we'll throw that Listen, away. You need to create more counters, okay? And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. after catching one by Diego Corrales. He just missed that shot up top. Able to dismiss it. Diego Corrales is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. He missed with that headshot. Get in there! Halfway through the ninth round. Diego Corrales' defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. movement to get away from those punches. Unload! <laughs> Keep it up! And just grabbing on to his opponent. right back with some offense of his own. Do that again. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. A good block. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning.
The stupid this is it. Let's finish this guy off. You can do it. Tú lo puedes hacer, ¿ah? Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Jump on him! Nice! Work the body shit! Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. has got something to think about now. Nice. He just nice. threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Diego Corrales' defense clearly carrying things right now for him. But what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good footwork we're seeing? Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part. You're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. Hook! Hook! <sighs> well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Missed the target with that hook. Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. Come on now, don't let this guy rest. Keep working, keep throwing. One, one, two, one, one, two, okay? Come on, you didn't work this hard to let this guy get back in the ball game. Take chances, baby. Let's take chances in this round coming up. You don't take a chance. It's really his fight for the taking at this point. It's a close fight on your scorecard, and anything, of course, can happen. But if you watch the past few rounds, you can see he's taking control of this fight. Yeah, he's flying a kite right now. And guess what? The other guy's the kite. Blocks that punch. Good counter punch from Corrales.
Halfway through this 11th round. Diego Corrales is making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you're, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart, you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. And he ties up on the inside. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Diego Corrales' movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And that's the end of round 11. Corrales' effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that last round. More punches. Yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. Jab and move. This is it, last round. No need to get into a brawl with this guy, okay? That's what he wants. Don't give it to him. This is it. You hurt him, keep on him. And this is the final round. 12 rounds going at you. And this is the final round, round number 12 coming at you. Diego Corrales is showing you a little defensive skill there. I'm gonna move away from that punch. Morales' defense is paying off now. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Blocks that punch. You know, many times we talk about the fact Pace that, hey, yourself. at least he's throwing punches. But that's all you can say in this that's case because he's not landing that's many it. of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean. And you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Halfway through this 12th and final round. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Relax, relax. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Final minute of the final round. off the mark by Diego Chico Corrales. Blocks that punch.
able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. That's okay, let's go. That hook was well off the mark. This was an easy fight to score from start to finish after that effort. Well, you never know in this sport with the scoring, but this is one you yeah, know. We're going to know in moments here as we send it up to the ring. Diego Corrales' work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That